everyone thank you so much for joining me today today we're gonna do a november reading so november is my favorite month and also october i love fall fall is my favorite season i'm not sure if i told you that before but i love november and the reason why is because it's my birthday month i'm a scorpio i love the month um and i would like to do this amazing reading for the collective today so here we go i'm going to use my favorite tarot card this card is the card that i started um my first deck that i ever purchased and i ever used and i love this i would never get rid of this deck i use it all the time i learned tarot through this deck and i just love it so much so i want to you know just get into the energy of the month of november what is predicted what is coming up next what are the things that we need to learn the things that we need to work on improve on focus on um, for this month of november so here we go i hope this message finds you well and i hope you're excited about this amazing month the year is almost done um it is time it's almost time for winter all these holidays are coming up. You have all your Sabbaths and holidays to celebrate and, um, and enjoy the time with your family um, and prepare for the time of darkness, which is ne not necessarily a, uh, a negative thing. It is a time for rest and reflecting for what is what to prepare for for the upcoming um, new season, um, springtime, when things are starting to grow and manifest and develop. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to do this. I'm going to pull some cards. I'll do four cards, and then I'll go from there. Um, my, my, my layout changes from time to time. It all depends on how I'm feeling, but I'm going to try to stay, keep my lay, layout consistent so um, we can, you guys can learn my style if you want to copy it. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to pull out eight cards. And as you can see here, these are my eight cards. Um, things are looking pretty decent here for the month of November. Here we have the impressed, the impress, the um, impress. Um, this is time for creation, abundance. So I believe that these are your wants and desires. You want to have an abundant and and uh, creative life that's filled with good um, positivity, bringing in a lot of uh, of positivity. It also represents parenting, um, like a parenthood, nurturer, somebody that attends and takes care of. The next card here is the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands represents something new is coming. Wands is a passion, so something that you are very passionate about is on its way. Some uh, or or um, or maybe you're planning to do something with the passion that you have, the talents that you have, um, the things that stuck in your mind. You're starting to manifest that and bring that out. Then we have the chariot. The chariot is one of my favorite cards. Um, it is like a victorious. It's a uh, moving. It's it's uh, action. Um, change right? There's some change happening. And I feel like, yes, maybe this is card is for some parents um, out there that maybe got stuck because sometimes we know we get stuck as parents giving all to our children and forgetting about our passions. Uh, maybe this is a time where you're going to be focusing and make taking actions for this passion that you have, this new idea, this project that's probably been in your mind for so long. And then here is the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands represents like a, um, like a, I would say some kind of boundaries you're putting up um, here if you want to see it. Um, the Nine of Wands, some boundaries you're putting up um, that's preventing you from achieving your goals. Um, boundaries in your mind. So we have to try to remove those boundaries, right? And here is these cards. These cards are basically follow-ups to the cards above. 
So here you have the stability card, the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands represents stability, a homecoming, some kind of celebration, some family and friend time. So maybe it's time for you to, to, to join with your family, to celebrate each other, to celebrate yourself. Uh, maybe you might be invited to some kind of celebration, some kind of family and friend reunion, um, something that represents stability that keeps you stable mentally could be possibly mentally um, maybe this will also bring some passion back into your life emperor the emperor card it's a, a major arcana, arcana um the four of emperor is is a leader um this here just reminds me of these these new passions these new these this this, this idea that you have festering that's that's that you need to manifest that is on your mind you are going to be the leader of it. You have to take control of that. You have to um, be respectful and, and start planning. Planning for this to come to. Planning for this to manifest. The next thing is the high priestess. High priestess. Follow those intuitions. Follow those intuitions that you have. That you are a... A, a, in control you are you need to take action and taking action just follow those intuitions follow follow them because they are what you need to do in order to get to where you need to be the next card here is the rest card I call it my rest card um, in order for you to remove these boundaries that you have that developed some kind of boundaries that you have you have to rest take that time to rest your mind Take a break. Um, relax a little bit. Um, let me see if we can get some more cards here to clarify some more things. This is the, um, what's it called? Illuminated, Illuminated Tarot. Tarot? It's, um, it's, I did a review on it, and I will we'll link that in um, the description. So here I'm going to pull these two cards. And uh, we have the Five of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles is about your health. About your health. And then this one, the Knight of Wands. I'll say the Knight of Wands. This represents the Knight of Wands. Um, this is... The Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands re represents some kind of lust, some kind of free spirit, creativity. So I would say it represents free spirited, some kind of creativity. So it's time for you to be creative. It's time for you to take care of yourself as well. So I'll pull one more card. This one is the Queen of Swords. This Queen of Swords represents, I would say, ambition. There's a lot of ambition within yourself. Um, you have a lot of ideas and a lot of goals that you need to achieve. Um, and you just need to plan accordingly and have strategy in what you're doing. What's happening this, this year? You know what? I'm going to, I don't know. This is going to be, this month is very, very interesting because I feel like there's so much passion within yourself and you're holding yourself back. That's what I feel. And there's a lot of things on your mind from family to your health, to your passion, to the mental things that you need to achieve, to the boundaries that you're, you, you put on yourself, to the lack of rest. Um, I'm going to pull one more card and see. So this, this month is a special month. You get more cards from me because um, I just want to clarify a little bit more things. Oh, okay. So you get the Six of Wands. You get the Six of Wands. Six of Wands represents victory and reward. So it looks pretty good. This month is going to, you're going to be doing a lot of work mentally. Um, 
but you, you're also going to be taking action for all these things that you have this passion and you're gonna also the things that you need to work on is your family life so spending more time with your family that's what I'm getting spending more time with your family taking care of your health becoming a leader bringing these passions forth so you can become victorious you take action follow those intuitions remove yourself from these mental boundaries these boundaries that you put up to protect yourself and then um, be victorious you're gonna be victorious at the end you have so much things on your mind it's a lot of things on your mind but um that is that the last card is a victory card just just know that there's so a lot of things you have to do maybe I would suggest to do some shadow work shadow work to find out where these this this boundaries uh, are are coming from where, why are you putting up these boundaries what what is going on within yourself from you stopping yourself from achieving these these goals that you have these uh, these ideas that's coming to you follow these intuitions and take action and get some rest sleep is very important but that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading, and I will see you guys next time.